What's up guys, it's Eric Johnson from Air Today Throws Nation. In today's video, we are going behind the scenes with a brand new thrower and showing you how we go from never doing a stand throw to a full throw in about 75 minutes. So check it out. So what's going on guys? So one of the things that we see quite often is people who are taking an entire season or multiple seasons or weeks on top of weeks on top of weeks to learn the full throw. And that is a twofold issue sometimes. That is the athlete not being confident to try to put it together. And it's also the coach and the athlete not actually understanding what to do. So in this video, we're going to go through kind of this is a first session with a new thrower and we're setting up we go and we start with the power position and what do they do that's always what we want to look at first the first thing we talk about inside throwing chain reaction and what we want to help people understand is that you have to understand the orbit and the radius the, the shoulders and hips essentially need to be level and parallel and the arms need to be as long as possible so this athlete's doing a pretty good job and this is what makes the stand throw um you know challenging and when you practice this the transfer to a full throw becomes more and more difficult because while she's learning to do a throwing motion this doesn't translate to a full throw because you would never land in the throw in this position now we got a couple of things the discus is too low it needs to be up higher this knee is far too low and you're going to see the hips are not on top of this foot and this is what helps you create rotation now again in our system we talk about this is pillar five which leads to pillar six and this is why we break it down into two things because we're going to teach all the motions of the upper body and lower body in this starting position and then how does that work into the throw so now you're going to notice this athlete's lifting and then when she comes through right you're going to see that she's kind of got a, a decent feel on some stuff but the hips are facing this way the release isn't bad she can sling the discus from here but when you try to teach her how to sequence this more correctly it becomes a little bit more challenging so what's the first thing that we do we go ahead and we make sure that we start teaching the essentials of the power position pillar five is where we're gonna make sure that she understands the heel toe position and you're gonna notice when I'm setting this up right here you're gonna see that my hip right you're gonna see how it sits basically over my ankle which pushes the knee out and that allows rotation so this is a really simple concept and you can't be bent over at the waist so as we kind of are teaching her how these things are moving we're going to be setting this up because you want to always train a stand throw that is going to correlate to an actual motion of a full throw so now we just kind of correct a couple little things and you can see she's you know moving a little better doesn't have quite the same level of sling because she isn't so bent down and isn't using the legs as well but it's actually closer to what the correct motion is so she's going to have to learn how to actually load the leg correctly and then this is what we do in our system we teach something that's really simple called a squatted throw and this is just a basically shortened range of motion drill to teach the concept of keeping the shoulders and hips level and turning the delivery side into the throw quickly basically already having the block set so from that point then we're going to move on to a half turn what does she do so she kind of learns and you can see how the setup angle was a little off position so what do we do we go back and setting alignment and setting up the chain reaction is critical because right now we show okay so here's what the throw would be like this is where your full throw position would be we move into that position and now you can see here what did we change alignment is one of the things you'll always hear us talk about and for you guys out there so many of you guys that are trying to learn on your own you're setting up wrong so you're always aimed in the wrong direction and then that's not helping you to develop your throws technique so some people will kind of intuitively do it a little better than others but it's still unnatural and everybody needs to learn so what do we do here we kind of show her again we put the foot in the proper position notice right here we have the right foot line the left foot line we have the center lines and so we're just kind of showing that so that she understands where she needs to be in the circle so now when she go ahead and she kind of adds this throw, right, we get a, a better overall motion. Now, the one thing that's going to be tricky and you're going to find 
per the athlete is one, this is why we talked about that discus being up at the high point in the beginning of the video, because you see this, this is what we call is inverted orbit. So when you do this, this creates this shift. You see that? So now she's shifting too early. Do you want to move into your block 100%? However, the discus needs to be in the right path so that as you move around this right leg, that discus comes from up here, it comes around, and that keeps the thrower on top of the right leg. So these would be things that we would be looking to correct and that has to do with the carry and the hand position you're going to notice there's a subtle thing we talk about but she's not carrying the discus right and you notice those first two fingers are too spread apart and that thumb should be a little bit more adjusted up on the rim or closer to the edge of the discus now as we continue to go we kind of show her and we're going through now this is kind of quick and we're showing her the, the the progression of how we move now into that half turn so again this is a progression right this is the thing that we always want to focus on we're working the stand we're working the middle now we're working how do we work into the middle and then we're going to work from the back of the ring into the full throw so we keep piecing all of the connection pieces together and that's what we call a, like a chain reaction right we're going to teach that how do we set up the alignment set up the chain reaction and then put it all together and we're just going to keep building so this is a lot of information to go through but we're really showing you here how we can do that in as quickly as 75 minutes now you're going to notice as she goes here this is one of the common mistakes you'll notice when i showed and i stepped down my chest didn't move watch the track and field on on the shirt and watch as she goes see how the chest turns the chest just keeps turning and this is the problem that the athlete's going to have she's going to keep turning the upper body then fold the upper arm back to think that she's staying closed but in reality she's not staying closed and that's going to have an impact on technique however this is her first session there's a lot of things to go on now she'd been throwing for a few weeks at her school and different things but this was kind of on the recommendation, I believe, of her school coach to come and check us out so that we could teach her some ad things, and we're building on that. So now that we kind of move through, you can see there's a lot of concepts and a lot of pieces, and this is where our system's going to come in and help teach some things, but this is where we kind of do, we take it to a hinge, hinge, step throw, and so now we're just going to show her how that action works, and so we're going to do this right so now we're just getting her to walk through and now you have an athlete that's working through in a matter of 75 minutes now what we don't show here is she actually did do a full throw I know it's a little disappointing to not show you that right at the end but notice the progression this is how you get to a full throw and again we did this in 75 minutes in between we're showing different drills and pieces on how to move these specific segments of the throw and then it starts to get put together and over time what we're going to do is we're going to train a lot of those position things in this throwing progression and where there's more items this was just basically we were teaching the basics of a stand throw and a squatted throw we did a half turn a step down and a hinge hinge step throw basically going through our again stand throw one squatted throw two half turn three step down four and a hinge hinge step throw five this is our five step progression to kind of teach some basic things and we have up to 15 different things in our tcr system to teach how to do a through full throat now are you going to do a practice with 15 items in a throwing progression not really um, but it's designed to help you figure out what things in a progression are going to be best to help the thrower develop and at what time of the year because we change that as we get to that championship phase of the season and it's different when you're in the beginning developing so at any rate this is how you want to always make sure you're practicing working on pieces putting it together and then understanding how to connect it and that's what our throwing chain reaction is all about and those six pillars and that's why it's better to have structure than not have structure so the fastest way to have the athlete improve is to kind of understand, go step by step. They're going to learn the throw, and then it's going to be a whole lot easier to put things together. And this is how that you should go from not being able to do a full throw to a full throw in literally a practice or two. And within a matter of a few weeks, it should make a huge difference and improvement should be significant. So again, we hope that helps you guys on the right path. Remember, if you would like to learn more about how to train step by step, check out our throwing chain reaction system we break that throw down into six pillars it's proven and we really appreciate you guys watching if you like this video be sure to comment hit that subscribe button punch the like for us and be sure to turn on notifications and comment below and we will see you guys on the next video
and stay tuned for Summer Throws Camps. 